In this video, I'm gonna share with you eight cartridge tricks you need to know. I wish I knew these earlier. They are going to save you a lot of tech headaches and make using Kartra easier. Kartra is an all-in-one sales and marketing platform that allows you to host your online course or membership and do everything that you need to make sales of it. The first trick I wanna show you is delivering a freebie to your audience. So the very first thing you will need is a sign up page like this where they will enter in their name and email in order to get that freebie. So this freebie can be anything you want. This can be a video, a PDF, a template, anything goes. And a really quick and easy way to provide that is to just display it on the thank you page. Okay, so you're going to create a thank you page. Okay, so you can actually just use one of Kartra's templates. Okay, great. And to give away a PDF or some sort of file, you just need to make sure that there is a button component on this page. So as you can see, there's already one here. So I'm gonna click on the pencil icon and then link, then download a file, scroll down and just select your file. Okay, so this is going to allow you to upload a document. So you'll just click select files, open that up from your computer and you are good to go. And if your thank you page doesn't have a button, that's no problem. Just click on components and then buttons, grab a design that you like and drag it in to your page. Now let's say that you're doing a video freebie. That's also really simple to do. You're going to go to components, videos, drag in your video block, click on the pencil icon, and then you're just going to select video and upload that here. Okay, so that's a really simple way to deliver your freebie. Just make sure that the form on your signup page like this is connected to the thank you page. Okay, the next trick, sometimes you just want to provide a direct link to a PDF. In that case, you're going to go over to media. Sometimes I do this to share assets with students. This could also be freebies as well, but you're gonna click on media and then files. Okay, then you're going to upload a file. Okay, so for example, here's a PDF I might wanna share. I'm just going to click on that, then click next. That's going to upload. Okay, great. And then as you can see, there is a little link icon right next to it. So all you have to do is click on that. And this is going to give you a link that you can share out with your students or your audience. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy that, open it in a new tab. And as you can see, that has opened the PDF and they can just click here to download it to their computer. So I use that all the time to share different assets. The next thing I wanna show you is how to create an unsubscribe link. Often during a launch or promotion, you're sending a lot of emails. And so what I like to do is at the bottom, provide a link where people can click on that and unsubscribe from just that launch or promotion. So not my entire list, but I'm giving people an option to opt out of that promo if it's not a good fit for them. So this is something I recommend you do in all of your launches. To set this up in Kartra, you're going to click products, then tracking track link, and you're gonna call this do not email, and then your promo name. So then what you wanna do is create a page like this. Okay, so this is one page I've created that I use anytime I create an unsubscribe link. So I have, thanks for letting me know, you won't receive any other emails about this. Okay, so we're gonna grab that link, and back here in Kartra, we're gonna paste that here. So this can be an external URL or a Kartra page. Okay, hit next, track clicks only, and then add tag. So this is really important, we have to add a tag. So I'm gonna create a new tag. Again, do not email. Okay, perfect. Then I'm gonna hit create, add, next. Uh, don't worry about this, you can just hit create. And then you get your tracking link. Awesome, so if someone clicks on that, it's going to actually go to that page. So then when you are sending out your broadcast email at the bottom, you could say something like, not interested in up level with Asana right now, no worries. Click here and you won't receive any other emails about it. So you're going to highlight that, hit the link icon, paste in your tracking link. Perfect, I like to open these in a new window, hit okay. So now if someone clicks that, they are going to be led to this page and they're going to be tagged as do not email. So then in your next email, you just need to make sure to exclude everyone with that tag and you're good to go. People can opt out from certain promotions, but still stay on your list. 
The next trick I want to show you is how to set it up where if you click a button, it automatically drops to another section on the page. So for example, on my sales page on my website, if you click this button here at the top of the page, it's going to automatically scroll down to the pricing table section so that people can go ahead and enroll. So how do you do this? In the page editor of Kartra, all you need to do is scroll down to the section that you want to link to. So here we go. Here's our pricing table section. And then you need to go over here to the right where there's a gear icon in blue. So we're going to click on that. And then as you can see, this is section 21. So that's going to tell you what section number this is. So let's scroll all the way back up now with our button. So you need to use a button for this. So we're going to click on the pencil icon and then link. And then all you do is select scroll to a particular section in this page. Then you're going to scroll down. Let me move me out of the way. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to choose that section number from this drop down here. Okay. And then hit apply and that's it. Now you can drop to any section that you want on the page. Next, I want to talk about cloning. This is something in Kartra you should just be doing across the board. So for example, I will often need to create a thank you page. So I just type in thank you. I look at a previous thank you page that I have already created. Okay. And then I click on the three little dots and hit clone. And this is going to create an exact copy. So rarely am I creating anything from scratch. For the most part, I am taking previous pages that we have branded and designed, and I'm cloning that and then making any small adjustments that I need. So you can clone pages, you can clone email broadcasts, you can clone sequences, you can clone products, and you can clone memberships. There's probably more you can clone as well, okay? But that is going to save you so much time. You do not need to start from scratch. The next trick I wanna show you is how to change your favicon. So the favicon is the little icon that shows up next to your page name. Like here, you can see my little L, and here you can see the K for Kartra. So if you want to make that custom, you're going to click on your profile picture top right, and then click custom domains. So you do need to make sure that you connect one of your domains to Kartra, or you can connect many like I've done here. Okay. So if you just want to use your main website domain, if you already have another website, you can just create a subdomain like this. Okay. So that's why I have learn dot louise um, or you can use a brand new domain like how i have up level with asana.com here so you're going to click edit domain and then right over here you're going to click on this so as you hover over it it will create a pencil icon click on that and you are going to upload your file okay and you want this to be really small generally you want it to be 100 by 100 pixels so i have my little one for up level with asana Perfect. So it's going to look blurry because it's small. Don't worry. <laughs> Hit confirm. And then next. And now that is going to apply for all of your pages that have that domain. Okay, great. So that's where you upload the favicon itself. Then for any of your pages, you just need to set your domain. So in this one, for example, I'm now going to publish it live, then click get the page link. And instead of linking to the link that Kartra gives me, right? So if I link to this, as you can see, that's going to display Kartra's K. However, if I click on the pencil icon and I change this to uplevelwithasana.com and now I go to that link, you're going to see that the favicon is our little up. Okay. So that is how you change that. Just make sure to edit your page link and it will display correctly. The next thing I wanted to share with you is more of an update. And that is that Kartra has now added webinars to their platform. So if you are on the silver plan or above, you will now be able to host webinars right here. And actually recently I did use this software in order to host a webinar and it was fantastic. I really enjoyed using it as a presenter. It was really nice and clear. Everything worked super well. The connection was great. And I liked how it was for viewers as well. So let's do a quick demo. Let's pretend we're going to set up a webinar. They actually give you so many different options for how you can customize this. So check out advanced configuration if you want that, but I'm just going to go into basic. Okay. 
Let's say we are doing a scheduled webinar. So it's pretty simple to set up. So I'm not gonna walk through all of these steps, but I just wanna show you what it looks like, okay? I really like that our confirmation email is right here, as well as all of our reminders. So I would definitely add those in. So I'm gonna create my webinar, perfect. Now let's go into the live room. Okay, so this is what it looks like and it has all the features that you could need, which is uploading your slides, sharing your screen, showing you on camera, um, having a chat, being able to display different offers. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really fantastic platform and I will definitely be using it. So let's pretend that I'm like sharing my screen Okay, cool. So that is how it looks. And if we go over to settings, you'll see that we have a lot of options. For example, we can customize the color, which I feel I'm definitely gonna do, pink ones. <laughs> um, you can change your position um, when you're sharing and also the size of that, which I like, because some other platforms you're like way too small. So yeah, important for you to know that this is now built in. Now, some people were complaining that the registration page is kind of ugly, which they are not incorrect, <laughs> okay? Uh, this is what it currently looks like. I'm sure that they will change that, but I did some testing this morning, and what is great is you can actually use a landing page and then just connect your webinar to that. So let me show you that. So here is a landing page that I have. Right, And so instead of using this page here, what you can do is with a button, you can click link and then scroll down to link to a Kartra webinar, select your webinar, and then use an overlay pop-up webinar. Okay, so let me show you what that would look like. That's really not bad at all. So your landing page looks exactly how you want. This will pop up. They just click register now um, and they'll go through the process to sign up really nice and simple, and then it's all connected. Okay, so let me know if you give Kartra webinars a try. And finally, I wanna show you how to create your own campaign. So let's say you are at the point where you are doing launches. If so, there are lots of different emails involved, and so you don't wanna have to go through and like clone them all one by one. Okay, so what you're gonna do instead is go over to campaigns, click on the plus sign to add a campaign, and you're gonna title this your launch assets, let's say. Okay, great, so don't worry about this. So I'm just gonna hit save and next, and then okay, I understand. Okay, and now you're gonna to go to broadcast. So we're just using the example of emails, but you can use this for any setup that you have, any campaign. Okay, so let's say that my last launch for my PPA challenge was in June, 2023. Okay, so there are a ton of emails in order to pull off a challenge, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add each of these to this campaign. Okay, and don't worry, you only have to do this once and then you're gonna use it over and over again. Okay, so once you've added all of your emails in, you're just gonna hit save, save and next. You're gonna select no, keep it private, save and next. Now you're gonna click on my campaigns and you're gonna see all your launch assets. Okay, here's an example of this more fully built out. You can see that there's really 40 assets in this campaign over here. So you're gonna see those assets here. Now you're gonna click on the three dots and then share. Yes, I have read and agreed to the conditions and then generate a share code. Okay, great. So then you're going to copy that code, go into available campaigns, click import, paste in the share code, begin import, close, great. Okay, so now anytime you have that launch, you're just gonna click deploy campaign, put in the date. So let's say I'm doing a launch this month, I'm gonna add that in, hit import, and that is going to automatically create copies of all of those different emails for me to now use for my current launch. So if I go into broadcast, I will now see all of those emails right here, ready for me to go for September, 2023. So that saves you a ton of time. And now moving forward, all you have to do is click campaigns, go over to available campaigns, 
and deploy it again for your next launch. So this saves you a ton of time when really there's like 40 assets in there. All right, those are the tricks I wish I knew earlier. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and I'll see you soon with another video.